Good morning and happy Sunday. It is very early this morning. It is um, almost 4.30. It's like 4.20ish in the morning and I'm getting ready for work because I have to be at work for 5.45 this morning. I was Googling what coffee places are open this early. The closest Starbucks near me opens at 5, which is fine, but um, I want to get to work a little bit earlier than 5.45, so I won't be able to hit it up. I did check McDonald's though, so McDonald's is open. There's one closer to work, so I can uh, check that out before I actually get to work. Um, because I just, I'm not a fan of Jim Horton's coffee, I think I already talked about that, but I am getting ready. I have decided what I'm going to wear today. I was originally going to wear, um, like an Oxford top and pants and all that jazz, but it's Sunday. I'm just going to wear this dress that I wore earlier this past week and, um, my Crocs because it's pouring rain. Yesterday it was like storming and lightning, so yeah, I'm excited. Good morning. I'm in the car now. It is 5.15. I've been in the car for like 20 minutes now. Um, anyway, I actually really like driving this early in the morning because there's uh, I've seen like three cars and It's nice because I like to drive on cruise control, but when there are other drivers on the road That's rarely possible because people can be crazy um, But yeah, so I'm actually really enjoying my commute to work this morning Okay, it is uh, almost two o'clock now and I am going to head to my parents house for Father's Day dinner the camera is kind of at an odd angle, but the Bo and I are heading home. We actually took separate cars, so we're um, having a bit of a convoy home. Um, then I am going to try to wash my car because this morning, because I was driving so early in the morning, I basically went through a wall of bugs and my, the front of my car is so disgusting. There's so many dead bugs on it. Did you guys see that? There's so many freaking bugs. They're everywhere. Good morning, happy Monday. I am just getting ready. My mom and I are hanging out today because I'm off today uh, since I worked yesterday, which is Sunday, and we're gonna go to the Ripley's Aquarium. Okay, I got her a pass to the Ripley's Aquarium last summer, and we're just getting around to going now. So we have that on the agenda, and then also we're gonna hit up the Bite Beauty Lip Lab, which I'm very excited about. I actually haven't been to the one in Toronto. I'm surprised I haven't been there. It's on Queen Street West, but it's west of Bathurst. So it's proximal to the DCM store on Queen Street West. So I might stop in, maybe see if they have um, coverage foundations in stock. They probably don't, but I want to pick up the 5% um, lactic acid. So I might just pop in just to see what's new. So yeah, I'm getting ready. I actually don't have too much of a base on. I um, am using the Ordinary Coverage Foundation in 2.1Y, but I basically just have it kind of in the middle of my face, not even in the middle, like the center, I'm saying like in the middle, like under my eyes, and that's basically it. Um, I've used the Age Rewind Brightener, and then I put the coverage foundation over it, just kind of, yeah, like this strip of my face here, and then I'm wearing a whack ton of bronzer. I am desperately trying to use up the NARS Laguna bronzer that I have, so I have nothing on my cheeks except for bronzer. Um, I might have put too much on, but it's fine and then I put a bit of eyeshadow on just because um, I wanted to play with some eyeshadow today and that's, that's what I got going on okay we're off this is what I'm wearing um, my Sir Gabrielle bucket bag I still freaking love these bucket bags I use them all the time they're basically the only bags I use unless I'm going to work um, chambray top from forever 21 these are khakis from the gap and then I'm also gonna wear my Crocs because I'm kind of obsessed with them Okay, we are downtown now and we are heading to Bike Beauty to make some lipstick.
Okay, we are heading to Ripley's Aquarium now. So we went to White Beauty and we got our custom lipsticks. And I'll show you guys what we got later. And then we went to DCM and I picked up a lactic acid and my mom picked up a couple of things. And lastly, we had lunch at this place called Lo Loaded Pierogies and it's actually really good. a lot today so sorry about that but I was with my mom and I don't know it's just pulling out the camera when I am hanging out with someone is not really my first priority but I did try to take some b-roll shots um, so hopefully it kind of meshes in cohesively but we were at the aquarium and the aquarium was so busy I thought it wouldn't be that busy because it was a weekday but turns out like four different schools went for a field trip that day so it was actually really busy Anyway, I have to mail out another blog sale order and I'm, I definitely want to try to do it tonight. I didn't get a chance to do it today, obviously, because I was away and busy. So I want to um, get it out tonight. So once I do that and I come back, I will show you guys the lipsticks that I picked up from Bite Beauty. Good morning. I gotta talk fast because I'm pretty sure my battery's dying here. Um, but I am heading to work now. I'm wearing one of my custom lipsticks. This is actually a color that my mom had made. She got two tubes, so she gave me one. And I like it. It's a little bit uh, like baby pink for me, but it's sheer, so I can pull it off. I didn't get a chance to show you guys the other two lipsticks that I picked up, so I'll do that after work. I didn't bring them with me. I just have the one that um, my mom gave me. And the other two colors that I picked out was like a really fun um, berry color. And then the other one was a My Lips Look Better. It is such a great color it looks like my lips but slightly more of a satin finish hello I'm heading home now and I am off tomorrow which is exciting so I love being off on days where everything is still open and most of the people don't have the day off because it means that it's not super crowded and you can still do whatever you want to do anyway I'm wearing that lipstick I don't know if you guys saw it earlier this morning but and do you guys think it's too pink for me it kind of is the same shade as my nail polish actually this is what it looks like so it's a sheer formula if this was uh, the uh, amuse-bouche formula or a matte, I would not be able to wear it because it is very, very bubblegum pink. But it's kind of outside my comfort zone a little bit, I guess, because I tend to do more berry pinks. But it's a nice change. Anyway, let me know what you think. Hello, I'm home from work and my hair is up because it started to rain a little bit when I was coming inside. My hair was starting to get really gross. Um, but I don't think I showed you my outfit today, so I'll show you very quickly before I change. The beau is not coming home until later because he has an AGM. His work has an annual general meeting today, in case you didn't know what AGM stood for. So it's just me for dinner, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna have. Maybe I'll have dumplings. We do have some avocado. At any rate, this is what I am wearing today. I really gotta do something with these boxes. I kind of just left them there and then forgot about it. But every time I do this outfit of the day, I think how hideous is it to have these boxes just laying here? So I'm gonna probably put it away. But I'm just wearing uh, different variations of blue today. So this is a to um, Oxford top that I got from H&M. I call this an Oxford top, but it's basically just a basic button up with a little pocket here, which is kind of useless. Don't know, it's just aesthetically there, I guess. Um, pants are from H&M. Uh, if they still had these pants, I would pick up all the colors because I actually really like them. They're very comfortable. And then my shoes are the ones from Calvin Klein. I didn't wear my Crocs today because Zabo said that I should just give those Crocs a rest and wear something different for a change. So that's why I busted these heels out, but I did kind of miss my Crocs because they're so comfortable. I'm not ashamed to admit that a majority of my purchases were knitwear because I love knits, especially even in the summertime. As long as it's a nice, light knit. I even wear um, cashmere shells sometimes. As long as it's a light knit, you can totally get away with it in the summertime, and I love knits. If I could have one category of clothing in my closet for the rest of time, it would be knitwear. I just, I love it. I picked up two things that were not part of the sale, so I thought it would just be worth mentioning. But these are um, like knit, 
t-shirts. They're short sleeve knit sweaters and I just am so excited to wear this in the summertime. Um, this is a small, so if you're any smaller than me they'll probably be a bit loose on you, um, but this is a small and it's just a really light knit um, sweater and it's in a t-shirt so you can wear it in the summertime and not be like sweating. Like I said they're not part of the sale so the regular price I think they were $29.90 but if you love knitwear as much as I do then you'll love this. So for dinner, I've decided I am going to have dumplings. While I wait for my dumplings to finish cooking, you might be able to hear them kind of crackling in the background, I am replying to some emails because I published my vlog sale video. I'm actually gonna um, delist it or unlist it uh, tomorrow, but um, I just wanted to have it up for a few hours to, for people who are actually interested to be able to see the video because I haven't really been, um, I guess, advertising or promoting my vlog sale. So I've already mailed two vlog sale orders and so far it has been pretty efficient. PayPal is what I've been using to do the invoices and it's actually really easy to do the invoices. I have a list of all of the items that um, are up for sale and then I can just quickly and easily choose them and then add a shipping and then sh email it out. I might have made too many dumplings, usually the bone I share this package, so I don't know if I'll be able to eat it all myself and I'll just have to leave some for the bow for when he gets home, maybe you can just have a snack. This isn't really the best lighting to be showing you guys the lipsticks that I got from Bite Beauty, but I want to show you guys before I use them, or at least two thirds of them, so it's now or never. So the Bite Beauty Lip Lab in Toronto opened last year in 2016, so it's been open for about a year I think, or maybe a little over a year, and the idea is you go there for a custom lipstick. So you go there for a lipstick that you can't get in the store, because as you guys know at Sephora you can pick up so many different kinds of Bite Beauty lipsticks. So they already do have a wide range of shades, but if you wanna go for a something custom, then you can go to the Bite Beauty Lip Lab. So there's two tiers. The first tier is what they call a custom lipstick, and the second tier is what they call a bespoke lipstick. So a custom lipstick is kind of like a made to measure suit. They already have um, all of these um, pigments ready to be mixed in with other pre-made pigments, kind of like a la carte, so that you can create your custom shade. A bespoke lipstick, on the other hand, is completely made to measure. So you can get whatever shade you want and you can go back and forth with the customization and it's just a really more tailored lipstick choice. So my mom and I went for the custom option because we weren't looking for anything super I guess unique and out there. The price points vary obviously for a custom versus a bespoke lip color. You can get one lipstick for $55 or two lipsticks for $80. So you save a little bit more if you get two lipsticks versus one. And then for the bespoke option, you get two lipsticks for $150. So I'll show you the lipsticks that I picked up. So I ended up with three. One was the same one that my mom got. So this is the shade that my mom got and she gave me a tube of it also. So it's a really fun baby pink. It's, hopefully you can kind of see that in the video. But this is what I was, like I said, wearing earlier. So with the custom lipsticks and also the bespoke lipstick, really the difference between the custom and the bespoke is the shades. So you can create a more customized shade with a bespoke lipstick than you can with a custom lipstick, but you can still choose your finish. So you can choose um, the sheer finish, you can choose an amuse-bouche finish or a matte finish, um, and then you can choose the scent that you want your lipsticks to be. So they have, I don't know, six or seven different scents. Um, my mom chose cherry for hers. I also chose cherry for one of them and then I chose vanilla for another one. The two that I got, one is like an everyday color, the other one is a like a bright berry color. So this is my lips but better color and it doesn't show up great because again lighting is really horrific right now but it, it just looks so good on and I probably have a shade very similar. It does remind me a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Bond Girl. This is probably a smidge lighter and that's probably why I like it so much because I absolutely love the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Bond Girl. It is like my favorite lipstick. 
I'm really gonna have to put some sort of name on the bottom of these because I will just not be able to figure out which is which. This is the fun color that I picked up. I saw this particular pigment in the jars and I was like, I want that, but a little bit more muted. So he mixed this together and I am obsessed with it. It's like a perfect um, like summery shade. It is like this gorgeous rosy berry color. So that's what it looks like there. Anyway, I really enjoyed the Bi Beauty Lip Lab. I would highly recommend it. It's such a fun gift. It's just a fun thing to do on a whatever weekday, weekend afternoon if you have some free time. I would recommend booking an appointment if you are interested in going. They also do have drop-in options, but sometimes if they get really busy, I went on a Monday morning, so it wasn't really super busy. The person who was helping us, his name was Bradley, he said that sometimes weekends are booked like weeks in advance. So I would definitely um, book an appointment if you are interested. But yeah, it just makes a great gift, especially if you are, you know, looking for a really specific uh, lipstick shade or a really unique lipstick shade. Um, it's a really great option. Good morning, happy Wednesday. Today I am going to Collingwood with my mom today, and I am just currently getting ready. And I'm also trying to package up all of these um, blog sale orders. I say all of them, I really have three that I have to mail out today, but hey, three is more than zero or one. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I just realized as I went to move that uh, because I'm wearing this top, I got this last summer at Reitman's um, because it's uh, one of those Bardot tops, makes for awkward vlogging because I can't really lift my arm too much otherwise this is no longer a Bardot top because it'll rush up. Anyway, I'm going to finish getting ready and have some breakfast. I am going to go mail my stuff at the post office, maybe grab a latte from Starbucks. It's a really chill morning and I love that. I love being off on a day where everyone else is working and everything is still open. Okay, I'm done getting ready and uh, today I'm gonna wear one of the lipsticks that I picked up from Bite Beauty. I think I'm gonna go for the fun berry color because, um, I don't know, I just really love the color. I have a really bad habit of bringing way too much makeup with me on the go and I rarely ever need it But I just like having the options So I have to mail these parcels and there's one other one that I'm trying to prep So I have all of the packing material here. Okay, I'm on the road now I am going to go to the shopper's drug mart that's closest to me and drop these off I am also going to pick up a Starbucks beverage and oh and then I'm gonna go pick up my mom. So, I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but I picked up these IKEA reusable bags. They are, they come in two different sizes. One is like 99 cents, the other one's 79 cents. These are super handy. The bone I actually use them for grocery shopping also. They're so sturdy. I just really like them, so I have all of my parcels in here right now because I have like two big boxes and then a smaller envelope. And it's just so awkward to carry. Okay, I would say a successful trip so far. Um, I got my Starbucks beverage, I mailed all three um, orders for my vlog sale, and now I am going to meet my parents. Or not my parents, my mom. <laughs> I'm just waiting for my mom, but this is one of the lip colors that I picked up from the White Beauty Lip Lab. What do you think? I freaking love this color. So far, my vlogs have been in the car, but I, when I went to go um, pick up my mom, we stopped by this uh, jewelry place because it's the person who actually um, did my ring for me. So I just had him take a look at my engagement ring because the prongs on here, if you guys can see, sorry, kind of bright, um, but they are, uh, they tend to get a little bit loose because this is a platinum ring and just the nature of the ring style, it gets, tends to loosen a little bit. So he actually did a little bit of work on it. He cleaned it and checked the prongs and kind of tightened it a little bit and um, just uh, made it all beautiful and it looks really nice. So because it's a platinum, it tends to patina. So he didn't um, like fully buff out all of the little nicks and things like that that I've gotten on it. He just kind of made it a little bit smoother. And then he also um, cleaned this one up and it looks really nice. Okay, so this is how the band looks and I love this band so much. I am so happy with it. I'm so glad that I went ahead and um, had my grandfather's ring changed so that it's in a style I actually will wear. And it's just, uh, I love it. And it just has so much sentimental value to me. 
And then this is my engagement ring. I don't know if I've ever actually shown you guys this up close, but I always get a lot of compliments on it. And the bow did a really good job. So it has two surprise diamonds on both sides. And then obviously the uh, brilliant diamond in the middle and it is platinum, but it just looks so nice and shiny right now. It's so pretty. Good morning, I am heading to work. I ordered a beverage, so I'm gonna hop into Starbucks, sorry. It's really bright, because the sun is always kinda in my face as I'm heading to work. But I'm really digging my outfit today. This is the new sweater that I picked up at Zara. I'm also wearing a pencil skirt. Hey, is that better? Oh, okay, now half my face is dark. Um, I'm wearing a black pencil skirt, and I'm wearing these new loafers that I picked up yesterday. I really like my outfit so I didn't get a chance to show you guys this morning but uh, I'll try to show you guys later today I am home and I thought I would show you guys my outfit for today I think I mentioned it earlier but I really like my outfit today I am also wearing the third custom lipstick that I picked up from by beauty so this is the kind of like my lips but better color that I picked and I really really like it this is what I wore today and my hair is a bit of a mess second day hair plus late in the afternoon that tends to be how it looks. Um, so this is my outfit. This is the top, like I said, that I got from Zara. So still current season, actually technically it's fall 17 season. So it won't go on sale for a while, not at least until next spring, but I really like it. And then these are the loafers that I picked up yesterday and I just really like them. So they have like an actual bit of a heel on it. I love these loafers. They have a bit of a masculine look to them, but I do really like them. I forgot to mention that my coworker has got me some cake. Actually, my boss got me some cake, but he wasn't here, so he ordered the cake, I guess, and had one of my coworkers pick it up. So I'm gonna show it to you guys now. It did not quite survive the ride home, um, but I'll show you, I took, I think, a clip of it, uh, not when it was still in one piece, but before I put it in the car because it was a little bit more presentable. This is what she looks like now. So this used to say happy birthday, Eliza. And in the car, this whole slice just kind of toppled over. It is essentially a vanilla cake with um, a bit of, I guess, custard in the middle. And then it was like topped with a whole bunch of strawberries. It's a really good cake. Good morning, happy Saturday. My hair is kind of looking a bit crazy. The bow and I are gonna walk to Shopper Shark Mart so I can mail my last block sale order and then we're gonna go for a bike ride. Yesterday was Friday and I wasn't in the office for very long, but they did decorate my office because it's my birthday on Sunday and they brought me this fun helium balloon and also decorated my office. And yesterday I went to this um, seminar in the afternoon in Richmond Hill, which was not, fun but it was kind of an easy Friday and now we're gonna go do some errands so as you guys know I just did a major declutter and I am trying to be better with my makeup purchasing habits meaning I am trying not to buy new things every single week and I my trips to Sephora have definitely decreased in the last uh, six to eight months so that's good um, I also have this one in one out rule and even though I picked up three new lipsticks um, because two of them were given to me by my mom and then one I paid for I am going to be getting rid of two at least two lipsticks I'm not sure which ones yet because I haven't actually done them yet but I will be doing an in and out with the lip products because I did acquire some new ones and I'm trying to keep my makeup collection its current size if not less as best to my ability um, however, since it's my birthday tomorrow, I thought I would treat myself to something, a little something at Sephora. I think I've decided which lipsticks I am going to be saying goodbye to because of my recent Bite Beauty purchases. This is just sunscreen, <laughs> put it aside. I might change into a different sweater because the Bo and I are having my birthday dinner tonight and I kind of want to sit on the patio, but I might be a little too warm in this, so I was thinking maybe a cardigan. Anyway, one lipstick that I'm going to be saying goodbye to is this lipstick from Burberry. It's the um, Burberry Lip Mist in Feather Pink. I really, really like this color, but just as you can see, I have so much of it left and I just rarely reach for this color. I think it's just because it's not a color that I would typically gravitate towards, but it is right up my alley, but it just don't seem to reach for it very often. I love the color. It's like a really 
sheer kind of corally pink and it's very comfortable formulation i just rarely reach for it and then the other thing i'm going to be getting rid of is kind of on the opposite side of the spectrum is this anastasia beverly hills um, liquid lipstick in catnip i have only worn this liquid lipstick maybe mm, maximum five times i feel like less than that because i do really like the color and i like for the most part the formulation i mean it is a liquid lipstick it's a matte liquid lipstick so it's a little bit i wouldn't say it doesn't it's not drying on the lips but it's it's dry on the lips so it doesn't dry out my lips but it's just dry <laughs> and i prefer so as you can see I have an assortment of different colors here, not including the color I currently have on my lips. And as you can see, this middle one is catnip, and it is just the outlier in the color family that I have in this shade. I prefer more berry colors, and although this looks great on, it looks amazing on, every single time I wear this and I look at a photo of myself, I think how great it looks, I just, I don't know, I don't wear it as much as I wear colors like these. So this first one is Smashbox Big Spender, then we have Anastasia Beverly Hills Catnip, and then the last one is the Marc Jacobs um, Lipstick in Boy Gorgeous. Even compared to the color on my lips right now, um, this one is a little bit more, I guess, purple than it is berry, and I really like the berry look. So the three Bite Beauty lipsticks are coming in, and these two are the ones that will be going out. home now we just finished having um, our little Saturday slash birth date and I had a delicious meal I did a bacon wrapped filet mignon which was awesome and then the bow did their special that they were having which was uh, a Hong Kong a Hong Kong cod Hong Kong haddock a Hong Kong fish of some sort but basically it is a scored um, fish entire fish deep fried and it was really really good and I am very full because I had a creme brulee and now we're gonna go for a bike ride I'm gonna change my sweater because I don't really want to sweat in this sweater it's still a little bit chilly out I don't really want to go in like short sleeves mm -hmm. 